is Garrett Jackson, and this is my audience for my narrative speech that I will be giving. Hi, I'm Melissa. Hi, I'm Alex. Hi, I'm Emily. Hi, I'm Christine. Hi, I'm Colin. Everyone in this world is shaped by several events that go through their life. These events happen multiple times, and they are separate different events from each other. But the important thing that connects each one of these events together is that it helps shape our lives to be the people that we are today, and eventually the people that we will become. One of these events recently happened to me last summer. I was able to take part in the first inaugural All-State Show Choir at the ACDA convention in Crete, Nebraska. From this experience, I learned new levels of dedication, determination, discipline, made many new relationships with the people I met, and was given one last opportunity to perform in a show choir setting. I learned new levels of determination and discipline. For example, I always had an idea of what determination meant from my long time in show choir. I had spent seven years and worked my way up to the varsity level and spent my top amount of time there for three years, operating at my peak performance in the show choir community and really digging in and digging deep. But when I hit the all-state level of show choir, I learned that determination had a whole new meaning for everybody involved. This meant that I needed to stay involved even before the entire event began by learning my music even before we showed up and learning choreography while we were there and constantly reviewing it during the little downtime we had. Discipline also kicked in because it meant that during the long rehearsals we had, I needed to stay focused and needed to push through. It was very easy for me to get off track or tell myself I was too tired or I didn't want to be here anymore or I just wanted to take a nap. But my discipline kept me strong and I powered through just like everybody else. I also was able to keep myself disciplined enough to hold up the amount of hunger I had because, well, we got three meals a day, but when you're dancing for eight hours a day, you don't really want to be weighed down too much. Anyways, from this, I also got to maintain and create many, many new relationships with the people that I met. Not only did I create relationships of friendship, but I also kind of took up a leadership position too. One of the amazing things that I learned was, even though we all came from very, very different backgrounds and didn't know each other at all, some of us came from Lincoln, other people came from far west of Nebraska, in towns that I had never even heard of. We got to talking in the little downtime we had, usually after dinners before lights out, or one of the other times we got to get to talk together was right before our performance. During both of these times, we talked to each other, we learned about each other's lives, what we planned for our futures, and where we wanted to go in college. Some of us still had two years left of high school, some of us had already graduated, like myself. Either way, I learned what made each person tick and what really, really brought them joy in their life. One of the best stories I can remember is actually meeting another member of the Allstate Show Choir. He was a baritone and he went by the name of Garrett as well. He spelled his name with two T's, I spelled my name with one, so I considered myself superior, but <laughs> at the end of the day, I thought we evened out pretty well. We both loved playing ukulele and Garrett told me that he actually had created a song with his show choir called the Banana Ukulele Song. And over the time there, I got to learn how to play it. Sadly, I can't remember how to play it today, but the memories I learned of trying to learn how to play it really, really helped me out. And I still look back and smile at those memories today. Another wonderful experience that I got was actually being a leader within a show choir. Having seven years of experience and actually being the oldest person in the show choir meant that I was a veteran and I had lots of experience for people to look onto. I was able to tell people if their choreography was lacking in some areas or they just wanted me to check up and make sure that they were doing okay. Other people came up and asked me about pitches or rhythms and I just kind of became the go-to man over the entire time. I thought it was a really wonderful thing and I appreciated it a lot with everybody that I was with. And then one of the last things that I got to do at the Allstate Show Choir was perform in a show choir setting for one last time. Over my years in show choir, at the end of every season, I always felt a little bit sad, but I knew I either had one more season or one more performance left. At the Allstate Show Choir, I knew that this was going to be my last performance, and I knew I had to make it count. In that performance, I put in all of my energy, my heart, and my soul into what I did. And in those 15 minutes, I got the most joy out of it that I had ever gotten out of any other show choir competition, performance event, anything in my life. And I really, 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 truly hold those moments dear to my heart. Not only did I get that one last performance to relive those seven years of my life for one more time, but I also got to say goodbye to show choir in a really meaningful way to myself. Along with this, I got to tell my audience what the message was that I was trying to portray through the music. Of the four songs we selected, the main idea that got carried through our entire performance was basically to carry on and 
what was next in our future. And I thought that was really fitting for myself and the one other member who had graduated high school in the choir, because we had no clue what was ahead of us. We both signed up with the college and were looking forward to what our majors were, but we didn't know what college was gonna be like. We just knew that what we had right there in that moment is what we knew and loved. And we were excited and both terrified for the future. And going through that last performance and understanding that what that message was truly was speaking to myself is what made me feel very at home during those last moments. At the end of the three-day All-State Show Park Convention, I had become a better performer and a better man. I had learned a new level of determination and discipline. I had created many new relationships with the people I met during the three days there, and I had also given myself one last opportunity to perform in a show choir setting. Through this, I learned that I was able to actually emphasize and continue learning about the practical skills through these seven years that I had learned, along with um, creating a message to everybody else and sharing that message with the audience and the people there. Through all of this in the seven years of my show choir experience, I learned many practical skills and it just kept building up during that time I was there and I was very happy for it. During the inaugural show choir, I was truly, truly, truly mesmerized by the experience and it was very memorable for me. I know without a doubt that what I learned in those three days and the experiences I had with everybody there truly meant something to me and the experience I had there helped to shape me into the person I am today and will continue to shape me onto the person I will one day become. Thank you and go Mavs.